The Sims here and welcome to the ninth part of Firewatch. I'm so excited that you guys are here and I'm loving your guys' comments from the last video. You guys are like, what the holy crap, <laughs> says Elijah. Zombie Penguin's like, I honestly have no clue and no theories as to what kind of crazy is in the forest. And Great Symphony, you wrote the best comment I have read. I mean, she went back and like, look at the notes. You guys go back and read the comment from Great Symphony from the last video. It will blow your freaking mind and then come back and watch this one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and break out our map. We need to follow the wave receiver. So we don't really need our map. Um, are we just waiting for it to beep stronger at us? Oh. Okay. So it seems to be southwest where it's getting really upset. I gotta turn up the volume. And I'm so apprehensive because you guys know I'm a screamer. <laughs> um. We need to find a way to go southwest. How can we go around all of these rocks? This is the, probably one of the more frustrating things in this game. Is if this was real life, we could totally climb down that. Um, let's go around. So some of you guys think Delilah is in on this and I actually agree with you. I think she is working with the bad guys. She has been manipulated. Oh, now it's saying go west. Can I go around this? It's hard because I have to listen to the beeping, but I have to talk too. I mean, it's a freaking let's play. Southwest. Okay, so how many of you guys want to bet something is going to jump out at us and kill us? <gasps> what the hell is that? What the hell? Strange backpack. Oh my god. That scared the crap out of me. I couldn't even scream at it fast enough. <laughs> Are you shocked I didn't scream? What is this key for? National Shoshone Forest, examine, where's the, uh, okay, so we're gonna put our back against the wall. Oh my god. I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, some basics. It was alarm. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? in that cave okay okay let's just think says the woman with the half a bottle of tequila in her belly maybe they're panicking <laughs> and we're preparing to beat it the fire has us spooked and we have new walkie-talkies so we have the upper hand yeah well it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods oh well you're back in your tower maybe you need a drink too i'm not in my tower no i am looking at a man standing <gasps> Stop. Oh my God, go. Get back to the. Why do I want to go back there? <laughs> okay, we want to go. Ah, oh, damn it, the thing's in the way. I can't see where I have to go. Northeast? Oh my God. Someone is at our freaking tower. We need to go this way. He runs us low. <laughs> Are you guys completely shocked that I didn't scream? I mean, I, I might have peed my pants a little. <laughs> All right, there's our tower. And we can't even get across to it. Crap. <laughs> oh my god, you freaking idiot. Just get down. <laughs> Is it going to um Can I go up this way now? Is it going to let me? Oh my god, this is so freaking dumb. I don't know how to get up there. Oh my 
God, he's walking so freaking slow. Wow, look at that fire. It's going crazy. All right, that's our tower. Hey, I got turned around. Is that person still there? No, he's gone. I'll call you when I get back. Okay, so this is dumb. We're walking without a weapon up these stairs. And, I mean, can we break out our axe fast enough? <laughs> Yes, I admit I am closing my eyes. I don't see anyone up here. <gasps> Just there. Unless the cassette player taped my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Crap. It was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. See, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Day 78! What the actual F? It is so hard not to swear. Alright, so those of you who have read Great Symphony's uh, comment from the last episode, you guys know why I seriously do not trust Delilah now. I'm like, nope, nope, she's setting us up. Let's go ahead and go to the cave. Aw, oh, crap, I can't remember where the cave is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we are, we need to go northwest, right? We need to go that way. Keep this bad boy out. Um... It has... So the notes that she read, it says, it's hard to like walk and look over at the other screen and read what she said. Um, the notes that Great Symphony read from the last video said that the bad guys said that they should get Delilah to manip manipulate Henry t into doing whatever they wanted, but they were, t t they were yet to test it. So I think these bad guys are using Delilah to test us to see how far we would go. Like, would we burn the forest down? But, like, why? who the hell are these people and why would they even want to test something like that for us? You know? Uh, it's saved. I always get really nervous when the game sees. I'm like, there's no turning back. <laughs> We're all screwed. <laughs> Uh, I've been playing over 12 hours of this game, and it's only a four-hour game, but it's because it broke on me, and I had to play way too much <laughs> to try and fix it. But at least I feel like we've seen everything that we could, can, could have seen in this game, this view. Damn it. <sighs> we need to jump down, you idiot! And it won't let me. Okay, in real life, we could do that. <laughs> so let's wander all the way around. And, okay, what I want to know is, like, the forest is burning down. Why are we even still wandering around in the forest? 
Um, we're like going in the opposite direction. We need to go. I hate that that stupid thing is in the way. I'm so frustrated. No, don't. And no matter what, when you bring out the map, he brings that out. Uh, northeast. Dang it. We still need to go that way, but I can't. I'm so frustrated. I think it's just because I've played way too much of this game. I'm over it. <laughs> I'll admit it. <laughs> If we hadn't have had that game-breaking glitch... Oh, that scared me for a second. Oh, I'm so frustrated. I, I think I would be a little bit more tolerant, but I've had to play way too much of this and go into the game code and try and fix it, so I'm over it. I'm over this game. I'm ready for it to be done. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I have to be honest. I'm just so angry that I've had so many problems with it. <laughs> northeast yep we're still going northeast now we're going southeast oh this is infuriating it's not letting me go left at all you're freaking kidding me this is stupid like I'm tempted to just stop the recording and then just start recording again when we get there Nope, can't go that way. <laughs> Let's see if we can, can I, yay! <gasps> Thank goodness, yes, jump down. Like half of these things we could do in real life. I mean, if he can jump down something like that, he can surely make it down all of those other things, right? Right. What do you guys think is gonna be? I mean, look how far down this drop is. And you're telling me he couldn't make those other ones? I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> oh, there's so many jumps. How does this guy even shower? You guys think he, like, bathes in the lake? And if he bathes in the lake, that means he's creep. Hey, you... you didn't actually make that call, right? To, to be able to look out. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I had. I just don't trust Delilah anymore. Okay, here's the cave. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, so if I get spooked, I won't scream at you guys. Use key, what? We're finally gonna go in here. And what's hard is, it's hard not to get completely immersed in what's going on, because my computer screen is freaking huge. It takes up like literally half of this desk. And it's a big desk. The hell? How do I even know which way to go? Should I like tell her I'm in here? Okay, let's go this way first. Loose rocks. Find a way out of the cave, but we just found a way into the cave. Shafts of light, crack, squeeze through. Oh my gosh, I am actually squinting my freaking eyes because I don't wanna know there's gonna be another raccoon in here, you guys. This is dumb. Why would Delilah send us in here to do this? Ah! That's it. Henry, oh, it's freezing in here. Well, of course it's freezing in here. You're in a freaking cave. <laughs> Are you guys spooked? Are you guys even looking at the? What the hell? Is that a? I almost said a swear word. That's a shoe. That's a freaking shoe. How do I get down there and get it? You guys see the shoe? Oh, I can't even get down there. All right, well, let's go around. I kind of want to go back to where we were in the beginning and go back up that part. If that's a shoe, um, is it a shoe from the Naked Girls? <laughs> Mental note, never drink loads of caffeine 
and play a scary game. <laughs> I thought this was a sweet, innocent game where we just play around in the woods. Okay, now we're out the other side. Huh. I want to go back. I want to... Hmm. Yeah, okay, so we found a way out. But you guys remember in the beginning... Will it let me go... I don't know if it'll let me go back there. We'll have to see. Uh, Penguin, if you're watching this, this reminds me of your Nancy Drew Let's Play. You know how you, like, wandered through that creepy cave? So when we first came in here, we could only go... We had a choice of going two different ways. Now it's getting super dark. Oh, I know we have a flashlight with us, but really, do we want to use it and kind of... Definitely let people know that we're in here? Wow, okay, now everything's starting to blend in together. Okay, is the shoe still there? The shoe is still there. Where's that? Okay, so it's shining from up there. I'm like, these people seem sick and twisted enough that they would put, like, a spotlight on that dead person's shoe. Okay, so it just kind of... I mean, this is kind of a brave guy to go into this cave and do this. Why doesn't Delilah get off her lazy butt and do this herself, right? <laughs> Okay, so squeeze through the crack. What? Okay. So, oh, I feel like we're gonna find all these dead bodies in here. Long, steep drop. And that's where we came in. Okay, so let's go down here. Can, just let me go down there. I don't think it will. Shoot. Can I go down from this way? No. I don't know what else to do in this cave. I mean, we went through the other side. That's where we came. I can't unlock it from this side. <gasps> Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. Give me the damn reception. Wow, so we do have to go out the other way. Okay. I want to go down there. I want to see what's down there. And this is like a weird little jagged thing, huh? All right. So let's squeeze back through. And let's just full on break through, break on through to the other side. <laughs> God. I've lost my mind. I have been in this freaking forest for too long. <laughs> All right. Yep. And then we wandered around and then we saw the dead person's shoe. If it wasn't there just then, I'd be like, we're screwed. You guys were dead. R.I.P. Henry. R.I.P. Turt. You gotta take your care of yourself. You gotta get out of that box somehow. And you guys notice that whenever we go back to the tower, I always check the box to make sure that we're still in there. Or that turtle's still in You can get down. I always check the box to make sure that the turtle is still in there. Because I'm like, they can do whatever to me. I don't care. But if they mess with our freaking turtle. Okay. Is this it? Yep. <gasps> oh, it was a leaf. I'm like, someone's watching us. <laughs> okay, so let's jump down. Trapped in cave, no longer. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So, you, so you didn't find anything? No, there's there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. I don't have any climbing equipment. Well, I just have my rope. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's break out our map again. We are there. We need to go south. So, map. Boop. 
We need to go do 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 do. We need to go that way. What do you guys think is going on? Oh my god. If it doesn't let us climb on these rocks, I'm going to rage quit. I I'm going to rage quit. How the actual heck do we even go around any of this? Oh, look we're on the water. <laughs> I keep panicking for like a split second because stuff that's up on the horizon, up on the leaves, I think is like, what the? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. This guy's off his freaking rocker. Animal nest. them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. <laughs> Alright, so what's this? I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Okay. Oh my god, there's freaking kids toys here? Oh no. What? He doesn't really <laughs> examine it very well. Let's drop it. But look at the kid's toy. Okay. Oh. It won't <laughs> let me call it in. Okay, so we're going to take this note with us. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. Okay, we'll take it too. <laughs> There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Okay. Um, can we examine? Nope. No, no, don't drop it. <laughs> take it with you, buddy. There we go. And I can't take. Wait, will it let me? Silva, half elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Okay, we'll take it too. <laughs> Bundle, uh, what? Oh, gotcha. Why are we only taking one of them? 
I want to take the dinosaur with me. Won't let me take it. Oh, it won't let me take the dinosaur with me. There's so many things here. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily e. coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Wily e. coyote, I freaking love it. And then what sucks is that when I click examine, it only zooms in and it doesn't flip it over. So I can't see what's on the other side of any of these documents that I'm picking up. So that's kind of frustrating. So we'll take it with us. I don't know if that's a new glitch or what's that it's doing. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework. Yeah, he must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me a sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Uh, okay. Oh. See, this it lets me do it, but the other stuff it wouldn't. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, can we just look over the edge? No. <gasps> Whoa! of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. What is that? You guys see that thing? It's like a... Is that a little game type of thing? I wish we could flip this up because it looks like it's a Game Boy or something down there. Okay. So I think we've done what we were supposed to do here. Should we go back into the cave and see if we can, like, <laughs> this is so spooky, to see if we can climb around in there? Oh, crap. It's so smoky I can hardly see where the freaking cave entrance is. Okay, it's not there. It's saving. It auto-saves, um, so this can't be good. <laughs> that is quite the drop. Okay, we're not going that way. I feel like the cave was like right around here. Oh, we dropped from up there. And I can't get up there now. Well, shoot. Hmm. Let's try this. Nope. Explore deeper into the cave, but how do we even get back in there? We need to go southwest. Yeah, but how do we get into the cave? We can't... Oh, is it going to let me... Nope. Okay, so maybe we need to walk through the campsite and walk all the way back around and see if we can do it that way. For a second there, I kind of panicked. I'm like, wouldn't it suck if there was just a random person now standing at the campsite? Oh, look. Drive in, okay. Dude, you realize you have no experience with any of this, right? <laughs> and he's doing it anyways. And we only took one of those little things. We should have taken more than just one. We should have taken the whole freaking bag. What do you think is in there? I don't know. Myself right with God or whatever there is. <laughs> Henry. They closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? No. No, I think I'm probably good. Bring on jail. You'd probably just get probation. I'd be the one stuffed away in the lust of women's prison for the next ten years. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, shoot. But 
but I want to keep playing. <laughs> See, I go through these emotional things where, like, I told you. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. I freaking told you. I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right. Delilah, I told you I didn't kill anyone. How did you not believe me? <laughs> is there anything in here nope all right so let's go ahead and you know what i'm gonna do we're gonna end this episode right here <laughs> are you guys freaking out it's like i'm going through this emotional roller coaster of i've played this game for 12 hours and i'm done because i wasn't supposed to play it for 12 hours and i want to keep playing <laughs> what do you guys think is going on now are you guys freaking out what are your new theories <laughs> if you guys like this let's play please give it a huge thumbs up and leave your comments and suggestions and any questions you guys have down below and your theories what the actual hell is going on do you trust Delilah? let's be honest here do you guys actually trust her i don't know i know i don't but if you do tell me why and give me reasons <laughs> thank you so much you guys for watching and i will see you next time bye